if you have a web page and people are coming to it anyhow, a really easy way to share a Typeform is to embed it in your web page. You have a few different options on doing this. I'll show you a handful. And as a note, for this demonstration, I've changed my screen resolution. Normally I record at 720p. This one I'm going to 1440p because it actually changes the behavior of the type form when we do certain kinds of pop-ups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to launch in a pop-up. And I have a choice of a classic, which fills most of the screen, or a drawer, which slides in from the side. And I can use either a very generic button or a link. Uh, you put in some text, I put click here. I'm going to do a classic button that says click here. And you see this is the HTML code right here. So I'm going to copy that code. And then you actually need to have a web page that you can modify. I use Squarespace, you might use WordPress or Wix or something like that. And while the exact commands will be different, the mechanics are functionally the same. I'm going to go to my web page here. I've got a sort of a blank page here with a guy working at his computer. And I'm going to put in a pop up. Now in Squarespace, you do it like this, you hit that and you say you want to embed. And then this little three thing is from my password manager, you can ignore that I click on this right here. And I paste in the code and I hit set and apply. Now, because of the security settings of Squarespace, it doesn't really want to show it to us right away. I can say preview in safe mode. And the click here button is the important part. Let me actually save this and refresh the page, then it'll show it to us the way it normally is. And there you have our very generic click here button. I'll make this bigger so we get the preview version of the page. And when I click that, we get an overlay over the, the top of the page. And that has my type form and I it's a live form and I can put stuff in it. And I can either click the X or hit escape. And that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is using the drawer. And I can also use a link instead of a button. So I'm going to come back to this page. I'm going to say drawer and link. And it changes the code right here. So I'm going to copy the new code, go back to my page and make it so I can edit. And come down and do embed. Again, ignore the uh, little box with the three. Paste in my new code, hit set and apply. Then I will save. And then I'll refresh just to make this uh, security stuff kind of go away. And then I'll bring it into preview. And so this time, it's just a web link, I didn't have to right click here, that's something that came with the code and it's red because that's how I have it set on my web page. And if I click right here, it should glide in from the left side. Okay, glides in pretty quickly, but there's the form. And you see now it's tall and narrow as opposed to wide, but it still has the same information still works great. I can click the X or hit escape. And that's one way of doing it. Now there's another option here. Actually, there's two more options. And that is with embed in a web page. The first one allows you to take code and stick it in the web page. And this sometimes works in Squarespace. Mostly it doesn't, it's a little finicky. So I'm going to skip it. But a more interesting one is actually if you have control over like the actual code of your web page, is to make an entire page. And this is really easy. I click get the code. And it opens the window and you see this is the information that actually creates an entire web page. And I've got all of that there. And I'm going to download it. And it's going to download an HTML file. And then if I come here and just click on that HTML file, you'll see that I actually have a whole web page with my type form on it. And so that's another way that you can embed it and share it and really make it easier for people to get to which makes it more likely they'll respond and give you the information that you need.